to go ahead and review a new holiday product that I picked up. Um, I picked this up at the VIB Rouge event at my local Sephora. Um, I do believe that this is available already on the Urban Decay site, and I think it's also available on the Ulta site already. I don't know about in-store. Um, but I just picked this up this past weekend. It is called the Urban Decay Illuminating Trio. So anytime I see anything that resembles a highlighter palette, I'm like, yes, I want to try this. So I was super excited to try it. So the packaging itself is really, really nice. It does come with three colors, pyrite, um, Pyrite, Oasis, and Twilight. And I was super interested to try Oasis because it was like a striped product. So really, really neat. Um, and this is part of the Naked line. So it's called the Naked Illuminating, Illuminated Trio. So I'll go ahead and open it up for you. It is so pretty. It does come with a mirror. Um, the packaging itself is um, bendy. It is made out of like a cardboard type product. And so Pyrite, Oasis, and um, what was this last one called? Twilight. Pyrite, Oasis, and Twilight. No, that's wrong. So Pyrite, Oasis, and Twilight. So when I first opened this up, I was like, hmm, is this gonna be friendly to all skin tones? And I decided once I used it, yeah, I was even thinking to myself, wow, I could totally see Pyrite being an actual bronzer that I would use. The brush that it comes with, remarkably, I really, really liked it. Wow, that's hold on, held on to some product there. Um, but, got a little puffs going. Um, but I thought it was fantastic. But yeah, the thing that I totally didn't see the first time I used it is that it is filled with this like micro glitter type um, of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take this brush and there's no difference between each side of this brush. Um, just probably like which which product do you want to use. So even though I'm going to tell you some of the positives about it before I tell you about the negatives. So it is it's a beautiful kind of highlighter. It's really really pretty. This, pro this one that I put on is Oasis. It's the one in the middle. And then um, I really thought whenever I saw Pyrite that it would just make a fantastic bronzer. So, uh, kind of like show you that. And I really, I do agree. I feel like, you know, it's it's the type of product that doesn't feel like as I'm putting it on and I'm like, ah, bronzer. I feel like it's kind of like pretty. I, um, you know, I think right now I didn't really blend it out as good as I, I could have, but I think blends it out. It would be really fantastic as a bronzer. Um, and then Twilight was the last one and it's more of like an orangey one. And I thought, wow, this would make like a really fantastic blush topper. Now this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put on my hand cause I want you to see the color payoff. Um, so there we go. So it's really hard to get the color to get in there, but once you do, it's very, very pretty. It's a very nice workable product and it's got an, a lot of illumination to it for sure. It's very pretty, um, but it's really, really glittery. And I didn't notice it because I was so excited about it the first time that I used it um, until the next day. So that night I did my normal routine. I took off my makeup and I use a makeup eraser cloth. I use a cleanser. Um, and that particular night I used eye makeup remover to get some eye makeup off. Um, and uh, yeah, so, and then the next morning I took a shower and I um, used a, uh, one of those little uh, Korean beauty, like um, what do you call them? It's like a pore cleaner, a little rubbery silicone type pad. And I use that with my um, Glam Glow cleanser. So I washed my face pretty good. And afterwards I went and I was looking in the mirror and I was like, why is there glitter all over my face? And what I had not realized is that there was this like, this super amount of like glitter in this product. Um, and it's, you don't really see it when you put it on. 
but it's something that, you know, it just kind of like sits there and, and it stays within your skin. So I already know just, um, you know, using, well, look, 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 watch this, watch this, watch the glitter in the sun. Yeah, it's very glittery. Wait, I've got some on here. I really like show you. This is crazy. It's got a lot of glitter in it. And I know some of you are like, well, what's so bad about glitter? I think that glitter can be very pretty. Um, but, you know, it just stays everywhere, you know? Um... Back in my performing days, we used to call um, glitter like herpes. You know, it would be, it would just like stay um, in the air and be all over you, be in your hair and everything else. So, because of the high glitter content, I have decided to pass on this product. I'm going to give it a thumbs down. Um, I think that it's pretty. I don't think that it has a lot of pigmentation, um, and that could be good for some people. I think some people will love that aspect of it. The price on this was 30, I can't remember if it was 36 or 38, but I think because it's easy to work with, I think a lot of people are going to be like, oh, I really like this. This is nice. Um, this is a nice product to work with, um, but... Um, I'm going to pass on it because of the high amount of micro glitter in it. It's just not for me. But if it's for you, let me know. Um, it definitely is a pretty product. I mean, it looks nice on the skin, but I just don't like all the lingering glitter. So that is the only reason I'm giving this a thumbs down. Bye guys. If you are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing. If you are one of my, one of my regular subscribers, thanks for sticking around. I love you. Bye.